morning grade fours how is your week going i know that it's only tuesday but i hope that you are having a fabulous week and that you are learning lots um, and i hope that you are still keeping yourself busy at home that you're not too frustrated remember like i've always said we are all in the same boat together i know that you want to go back to school i want to go back to school um, and I'm sure you all are dying to see some of your teachers and your friends, but I promise you in, in, in time, we will all be together again. Um, so our natural science lesson, remember that this lesson is brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. And if you've got any questions, email them to grade four at worksheetcloud.com. Right, so to kickstart this lesson off with a fantastic joke, and the joke for today is this. What did the left eye say to the right eye? What did he say? Well, between us, something smells. So left eye, right eye, between us, nose, something smells. <laughs> hope you enjoyed it another one of uh, my classic jokes um anyways okay so to start this lesson off grade fours remember that uh, we have started with energy we it's a, a topic of discussion at the moment we've looked at different types of energy we've looked at transferring energy from one form to another form remember energy cannot be created nor destroyed it can only be transferred from one form to another right now specifically today we are going to be focusing on sound energy and sound right and when it says movement and energy in a system i'm going to teach you with sound energy how we get sound and why exactly it involves movement now before we kick start this lesson and we go into it i thought we could start with a fun activity Okay, a little a sound activity for you to, uh, for us to sit and see what, how right you are. So I am going to, first of all, just move myself down here for, for now. Right, so for every single one of these pictures, I'm going to play a sound. And I want you to think what it could be, and then I will reveal the answer. Right, so I am going, so the first one, What do you think it is? Let's do it again. Okay. Did you guess a cow? Correct. Okay, let's hear. What do you think this one is going to be? And what did you guess? Did you get a horse? Good. Number three. Lightning. Okay. Number four. Hmm. I'm sure you've heard that. That sounds like a busy traffic jam. Lots of cars. Number five. The sound of a toilet flushing. Good. I had to put that in there. Number six. Hmm, oh, short and sweet. Should I play it again? One more time. What do you think it could be? Ah, a door. Opening up a door. Right, number seven. And that's the ping when the microwave is ready. Number eight. Mm, I'm sure you all got that. Yes, it was a vacuum cleaner. It also could have sounded like a hair dryer a little bit. The vacuum cleaner is more accurate. Number nine.
Okay, easy enough. You got it. A cop car. An ambulance. Good. That is a dolphin. That's the sound of a dolphin. And number 12. Did you get it? That is the wind. Awesome. Okay, cool. Well, I hope that you, that was really cool. Well, how many did you get right? I must say there were a few there that I was a little bit skeptical on, not too sure if it was the right uh, sound, but sorry, let me just move me up at the top. Good play. Right. Okay, so that was just a fun little activity to introduce our lesson because today we're going to be focusing on sound and sound in G specifically. So I'm going to, we're going to look at what exactly is sound. We're going to be looking at movement causes sound and then indigenous musical instruments in South Africa, right, specifically. So those are the three little short and sweet topics that we're going to be doing today. So first of all, what on earth is sound? Now, sound is a form of energy made by vibrations. Okay, when any object vibrates, it causes movement in the air particles. These particles then bump into the particles close to them, which makes them vibrate too, causing them to bump into more air particles. This movement is called sound waves, and it keeps going until they run out of energy, or that energy is then transferred, uh, transferred to another form of energy. And so, boys and girls, that's how sound is created. Sound is a series of vibrations, okay? And those vibrations, if while I'm talking, the sound is traveling through the air, the air we know is made up of different particles, okay? There's many different um, particles in the air, and as, the, as that energy is traveling through the air, that the air particles are vibrating. As soon as it's vibrating, it then causes the next um, object or the next particle to vibrate. And as that vibration happens, that's how sound is then traveled from one sort of vibration to the next. So it's that vibration and that's what it's all about, movement. Okay, now these waves of sound, we call them sound waves. And as you get older, you'll learn about your, there are different types of sound waves as well. So if I say, what is sound? Sound is a form of energy and it's made by vibrations. I always didn't think of that song, Good Vibrations. Okay, I think it's, maybe I'm revealing my age, but <laughs> anyways. Okay, so sound. Right, now let's have a look specifically when we talk about sound, we talk about music, we talk about obviously with us speaking, which is what I've just said, and then obviously lots of other um, appliances, electronics also create sound like TVs and radios and so on. Okay, but I want to specifically talk about musical instruments. Now, for those of you at home that play a particular instrument, just know I am jealous of you. It's one thing that I would have love to be able to do was play an instrument and so I think that carry on doing it persevere I know that it's practice and it takes a lot of hard work but I just think it's such an incredible skill and gift to be able to play a musical instrument now specifically the reason why I'm going to focus on different instruments is that certain instruments are made a certain way to produce certain sounds okay so just looking we're gonna just i'm just gonna look briefly at some examples such as a guitar so if we look at a guitar when you pluck the string the string then vibrates and it causes a sound wave to occur the sound is then made louder because you see here in the base of your guitar it's hollow um, and so that sound then travels and then it becomes much louder as it goes inside um the hollow the inside of the guitar so that sound is then amplified or we say it's basically made a lot louder okay and so again sound is produced by vibrations and those vibrations occur throughout the strings now in a guitar what i do know is that you get um steel strings and nylon strings and if i'm wrong i do apologize uh, but that as soon as you pluck the string then the vibrations occur through the string that movement produces that sound and it's 
made bigger or that's amplified as it goes into the hollows inside of the guitar as well okay so that is a guitar then we come to a drum so have a look at the drums i think drums are very cool and drums for me you have to be so coordinated both left and right to be able to play the drums and i think that for those of you again that you've got that Sort of coordination i envy you because i know i don't but i think it's very cool now a drum specifically now i'm looking only at like the drums it is it has a, th a very thin membrane or a skin that is stretched tightly over the opening of something hollow okay the membrane then vibrates and it makes the sound that we hear when the drummer beats a drum Okay, in our next lesson, we are going to do sort of mini experiments almost. Um, and I'm going to show you how we can possibly make our own instruments at home that all of you can make at home. And so with a drum, it's a thin sort of membrane or a skin or something that is then stretched over something that is hollow so that there's nothing inside but it's stretched and then that sound when you bang on the drum is what we then hear that is amplified and again it's that um membrane that vibrates and then we, we get this our sound right now if we look at a, a different type of instrument so like a trumpet right so air as you can see here is blown through closed lips Okay, in the trumpet, so you can see her lips are closed and it makes sort of a buzzing sound which causes the air inside the trumpet to vibrate. The vibrating air causes sound which we can hear. Right, so again, boys and girls, here we've got an instrument that you blow air in and um, that air uh, creates a sort of a buzzing sound and obviously you can we can control the, the type of sound by... The, I wouldn't say buttons, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and so the vibrating air causes sound, which we can then hear. Okay, so remember that different types of instruments do produce different sounds. Different instruments are made a certain way. They uh, The sound is created either by plucking or by banging or by blowing. Um, and the sound is created from the air particles in most cases that um, the sound is then travels through the air particles and that air po those air particles they vibrate and the vibration causes a string of vibrations to eventually um, when that sound is then that the sound energy is then converted to a different form of energy and then the sound we don't hear anymore all right so now we move on to the part of the lesson where we speak about indigenous musical instruments. Now this word indigenous is quite an important word because the word indigenous means that it is specific to a particular area. So um, we have in our section on life and living, we did speak about indigenous plants or animals, uh, specifically in South Africa. And what that means is those plants or animals that um, you won't necessarily find anywhere else in the world they are indigenous to South Africa now we also have there's also certain instruments as well certain musical instruments are indigenous to certain areas to certain groups of people and I think it's such a beautiful way of of sort of also connecting with people um, and just learning about where people come from, their cultures, their backgrounds, their heritages, because different instruments represent sometimes a different culture. Um, and we can learn so much about other people just through the art of music, which I think is just such a magical thing. So if we read here, it says musical instruments are very important in many cultures and societies. Traditionally, different cultures have different musical instruments. Okay, and I think what's beautiful about that is that music is used in so many different ways. And it's music in itself is, is used to represent different occurrences throughout time. Um, whether it's celebrations or victories or telling stories or um, anything. And music has that ability to sort of also bring people together and, and 
that's why I think it's it's so amazing. And here, just by looking at certain indigenous musical instruments. Um, so the instruments which were developed by a group of people that are used in a particular area are called indigenous instruments. And throughout the world, you will find different cultures of people from one continent to the next, where certain people have created um, their own instrument and that own, that instrument creates its own specific sound um, and those instruments this is an important term those instruments that are again they are used by people in a particular area they're called indigenous instruments the sound is created by the movement of the instrument which causes the vibrations and produces the sound right and you can see here just by this picture there's so many different examples of different sort of musical um, uh, instruments that we don't commonly find today. It's very rare to find certain um, musical instruments such as this. So if we have a look at some of the musical instruments that we have in Africa. Now Africa, we are, are blessed with the most incredible rich musical culture. And we've got so many instruments that have been created and the sound that comes from these instruments are phenomenal and when you put them all together it's absolutely beautiful so we've got here a balafon maybe some of you have seen these before maybe some of you haven't i can tell you that i have never seen a balafon before so i'd be very curious to see one of these in real life i've never seen a kalimba before i've seen shakers drums i've seen before and marimbas are very common um, i love marimbas they produce such an amazing sound as well uh, just like all of them do and this is just some of the african musical instruments that we've got i'm not going to go into too much detail we also get these different types of drums and how drums are made and whatnot but um that's a lesson for another day Right, and so I just want to sort of end off with, here's just another picture. You can see playing the drums. Can you imagine standing there and listening to this? Must be amazing. Well, look at this particular instrument here. And again, this man is busy plucking strings, similar to like a guitar almost. And so the vibrations of the string, um, this must be something hollow, I can only assume. Um, and so that, that vibration travels to uh, something hollow where it's then amplified and then we hear that sound that sound then travels in the air and so on and so the key points of today's lesson grade fours is sound energy travels through vibrations okay those vibrations occur specifically when we hear any type of sound we hear those vibrate uh, those vibrations occur from one particle that vibrates to another particle and that's how we hear sound to eventually that sound energy is transferred into something else um, which is quite important we also learned about indigenous instruments which are very specific to certain people um, in certain areas of the world and we also just looked at sound in general how we get different instruments how they're constructed and how we get different sounds depending on the makeup of that particular instrument which is it's so interesting and i also said that for those of you that are sitting at home and you do play an instrument i hope that you're using this lockdown to practice to maybe come up with your own songs with your own like recordings or you're just having fun because music brings people together and it's such a beautiful form of expression and it also you embark on such a an emotional journey with with music and it can it can make you feel happy or sad or bring back memories or um, anything magical. So that brings me to the end of today's lesson. I shall see you all soon. Have a fantastic day. And from me, Miss Kun, Hakuna Matara, don't worry and be kind to one another. Bye.